In this chapter, we will introduce you to the main interface. Let's go through the icons from the bottom left to right. Start button. Click on it to open the menu. In this menu, we will find Active User Display. This line is inactive for interaction. It shows the active user that is currently logged in to the system. Search and Backup to find and backup events. Playback to playback recorded videos. Settings to configure the system. Log out. This locks the system and prevents unauthorized use. Shutdown performs log out, reboot, or shutdown procedures. Full screen button. This will switch to view full screen mode and make the icon bars auto hide. Click it again to exit the full screen mode. Screen split buttons. To switch between different split screens. Different models will offer different split options according to the device supported channels. Sequence button. Click on it to set the dwell time and start the sequence. Please note that starting the sequence will automatically switch to full screen mode, but stopping the sequence will not exit from full screen mode. OSD button. Click on it to enable or disable the OSD. This will remove any markings made by the system, but will not affect the camera's OSD. The OSD system markings include yellow running man for signaling on active motion, yellow dot for motion recording on, blue dot for schedule recording, red dot for sensor recording, green dot for manual recording, PTZ indicating that the channel supports PTZ operations, audio indicates active audio from a specific channel, channel name and window number. Instant Playback button. Click on the up arrow to set the default instant playback time. Click on the play button to activate instant playback for all the channels and at the same layout you are currently viewing. This supports up to 16 channels. For instance, if you choose 5 minutes ago as the default playback time, you can quickly playback the record from the past 5 minutes. Manual Record button. Click on it to enable or disable Manual Record for all channels. Manual Alarm button. Click on it to trigger or clear the alarm out manually from the pop-up window. You can customize the delay duration for each of the relays. Record status. Show the recording status and parameters for all channels. Alarm status. Show all the alarm information, including alarm in, out, motion, and exceptions. Information button. Click on it to view different system information. Now let's get familiar with the options on the right control panel. Camera tab displays all the available cameras. To view the video of a camera, you have two options. Either drag the camera name from the right panel to the selected window on the left, or Select one of the windows on the Live View area and then double-click on the camera name you wish to view in that window. In Channel Sequence tab allows you to run a sequence of cameras within a specific Live View window. In Channel Sequence needs to be configured in order to be active. We will discuss the configurations later on in the tutorial. For now, we will use our pre-made group for demonstration purposes. Also here, you can either drag the group name from the right panel to the selected window on the left, or select one of the windows on the Live View area, and then double-click on the group you wish to view in that window. Customized Display Modes tab allows you to save a layout of cameras just the way you like it, so it will always be available. First, set the camera layout as you wish, and then save it. Double-click on the desired display preset from the list to activate it. Now that we are done with the main interfaces, let's go to one of the more sophisticated features of the system, in-channel operations. Clicking on any of the channels will open a menu which offers actions that will take effect only on that specific channel. In this menu, you will find Move option, click and drag it to move the toolbar, Manual Record, 
start or stop manual recording for the specific camera, instant playback, to start instant playback for the specified camera within the specific window. The time of the instant playback is set by the main instant playback button on the main bar. Audio, to enable or disable audio from the selected camera. This feature requires a camera supporting this feature. Snapshot, takes a snapshot from the live view and opens a snapshot pop-up that shows the taken snapshot together with all the necessary options and snapshot information. Click Save in the window to save the image or export to export the image. PTZ Gain control over PTZ cameras. We will show the PTZ interface later on. Digital Zoom allows you to digitally zoom in and out. We will show this feature in a minute. Image Adjustment Set the image parameters for the camera to improve video appearance. We will show this interface later on. From this in-channel menu, we want to get deeper into three interfaces. PTZ, Digital Zoom, and Image Adjustment. The live PTZ interface can be reached by clicking on the camera and then on the PTZ icon within the camera mini menu. The PTZ icon will be active only if the camera supports PTZ features. Such cameras can easily be recognized by the PTZ blue icon on the top right corner of the window. Once in the PTZ interface, you can switch between supported cameras using the drop-down menu on the top right. Controlling the PTZ can be done by two methods. First is the on-screen control. In order to move the PTZ, click and hold the arrowed cross, then drag it to the desired direction. As further away you drag it from the middle, the faster the PTZ will move. Release the button to stop the movement. The cross will return to the center. Click and hold the, the left mouse button anywhere on the image to zoom in. Click and hold the right mouse button anywhere on the image to zoom out. The second control method is the good old PTZ control panel. You will see it in the bottom right side of the screen. Use the movement arrows to move the PTZ to the desired location. Use the speed bar to set the movement speed. Use zoom focus iris, minus and plus as you wish. Presets can be used to save important and frequently used locations and quickly recalling it when needed. As default, the preset list is empty, so you will have to add and configure the presets that are important to you. Move your camera to a location you wish to save as a preset. Click on the Preset tab and click the Add button to pop up a setting window. Select the desired preset number and input the preset name. Click OK to save the settings. In the same manner, you can also set predefined presets. For example, Preset 95, which opens the camera OSD menu. In the same manner, you can set and use cruises. Cruises are built from a sequence of presets and are used for creating a specified patrol between presets for an endless duration. Cruise will run until you stop it or move the camera. Digital zoom can be achieved in one of two methods. The first and more intuitive one is the mouse scroll wheel. Just left click on the channel you wish to control, point the mouse cursor on the object you want to zoom on, scroll the mouse wheel up to zoom in and down to zoom out. The second method is by the digital zoom interface. Click on the camera you wish to control and then click on the digital zoom icon from the channel menu. In the opened interface, you can zoom in or out by using the mouse scroll wheel or by the zoom buttons on the bottom right. Scroll and navigate within the picture by clicking and dragging the red box on the bottom right. Click back to go back to the live view interface. Last is the image adjustment interface. Click on the camera you wish to adjust and click on image adjust from the mini menu. Use the sliders to set the image brightness, contrast, saturation, and hue values. If the camera supports additional features, 
you may tick them here to set them. Click the default button to set these parameters to their default values. The lens control feature must be supported by the camera. Click on Lens Control tab to access the feature menu. Use Zoom plus and minus to set the zoom ratio and then either set the focus manually by focus plus and minus or click on one key focus which will set the focus automatically. Lastly, tick the day night mode switch auto focus tab if you wish for the camera to readjust the focus when switching between day and night modes. Now that we are done with the live view interfaces, we will continue to the system configuration.